fabulous. Yes. Don't you? You look Thank so you. gorgeous. I thought it was Master Chef winner. <laughs> we are. He's the Master Chef winner colour, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you see, they might not do the sob story, but they still do the big leaving you all hanging oh, for yeah. themselves, yeah. don't oh. they? Just say, oh, come on! <laughs> Did it feel like forever. an eternity? Yeah, they really do keep you hanging, cos afterwards you realise they're trying to get your face pulling different, you know, <laughs> things, but you're yeah. standing there thinking, hurry up, yeah. Did you think it might be you? No, I thought it was Jack. I was looking at Jack. I really didn't think that... The whole way through, I never thought I was going to win. Yeah. I, I honestly didn't. Well, and... you said that every time you got to another round, you just thought, that's amazing, yeah. right, I've got this far, which exactly. is a wonderful attitude to have anyway. Yeah, I, I, but I didn't go... It was so lovely to win, and that's just the icing on the cake, but I didn't go on it for that reason. I went yeah. on it to, to redefine myself and to do something for me. Yeah. And... Um, so just to get as far as I did was real pleasure, to be honest. Okay, and, well, and it was your children, <coughs> wasn't it, that encouraged you to yeah, do it, your son? Yeah, but they, all kids think their mum's the best cook, don't they? They all say... <laughs> 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 but it's really interesting that you say you wanted to redefine yourself. Why? Why was that? Well, I think um, when you when you've been ill, people do sort of say, "Oh, that poor lady's had cancer," or "That poor," I, and to do this was great because now I'm the lady that's been on MasterChef. Yes. Yeah. And, um, and that I wasn't the, about me. That's the nation I mean. applauds you as well, not only for winning, but for the fact that you won. On that, there's no way that anyone can say it was a sympathy vote or mm. people felt sorry for or anything like that. You just won on pure merit and skill alone. So you've absolutely... Thank you, that's really kind. And you were incredible under pressure because the pressure is quite ridiculous, isn't yeah. it? You feel like you're just, your mind's going to blow and every day they're piling more and more on you and you never lost your call, really. But I think that's, that's what you're like if you've got kids, isn't there? Yeah. Because you can't fall a man on the floor and start howling and screaming. Yeah. You've got to be the one that says, it's fine. Yeah, you can make your own, <laughs> be on the phone and change exactly. a nappy. That's in your it. head, you might be going, oh, no. But you, to the outside world, you've got to be the one that's cool and, and calm. And but I think you, that came you, across you're, there. You're more... Because often it is just, um, you know, people are just home, good home cooks. Mm. But, but you really are an artist. I mean, some of those flavours that you put together... I mean, you've got to have some kind of mind to put popcorn and lobster together. <laughs> <laughs> I want to try that so badly now. I really loved it. When I said to my husband I was going to do this dish, he yeah. just went, oh, gross. <laughs> he but didn't it like worked. it. I, l I really liked it. And I just, I wanted some texture on the plate, and popcorn became mm. the obvious thing. Uh huh. And, you know, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> where it came from. I, I didn't know it was in me. <laughs> so I just went on the way it came I just out. want to ask you, because we've, we've talked, obviously, about you having cancer, but for people who don't know, so you, you had breast cancer the yeah. first time, so you had chemo, I believe. Yeah, and, and radiotherapy. Radiotherapy. Um, which must... How, how long were you battling against that? Well, I think from the first diagnosis to when you finish the treatment, it's, it's a good eight months, but it's, it's a year, really. That and you caught you... it in the early stages? I did. I did yeah. the thing. And that's one of the reasons why I like to talk about it. I did the thing. I checked myself in the shower and mm. I found a lump. And, and how I went did your to the kids deal with it? Because it's, it's often almost, may I say, easier for you to it deal is. with than it is for your mm. family. It is. And I think that's the guilt associated with having cancer. You put so much pain on other people and people you care mm. about. And, and how about when it came back again, the secondary cancer? Well, that was uh, it, it metastasized into my liver, and uh, secondary liver cancer is just a horrible diagnosis. Yeah. But I was really lucky. I'm a fantastic surgeon. Did a liver resection. They took 50% of my liver. It's a wow. hideous operation, um, and really quite a dark time. But it's over and done with now. And um, I'm in remission. I've been in remission three years, and um, that's one of the reasons why I so wanted to do something like this. Absolutely. Mm. But and move comes, on from that. When it comes back for a second time, a lot of people. Do you sort of feel a bit like you're living with a time bomb? Do you worry now if you get an ache or a pain, or have you just totally thought, right, no, that's it, it's behind me? No, you've you've got you can't do that because you have to go back in every three months and have CT scans and MRIs, and you're taking drugs and things, but. That, you just have to learn to cope with it. I, I, I don't know how. You do. Mm. Um, we're mums. You, you do. You get on with it. By winning MasterChef. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 As, as to whether you have redefined yourself, you absolutely have. You, I mean, it sounds like you're an incredible mum as it is, but you're also a Master Chef winner. And also, you've been a guest on Lucy Min, and we would like to give you a bunch of flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
you've enjoyed that, then why not click here for more? And don't forget to subscribe by clicking here so that you never miss out on the best loose women moments. I had a nine by six centimeter tumor in my breast when I was diagnosed. And um, I had all the tests. I mean, not immediately. And unfortunately, it was diagnosed really late. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, I had a biopsy, I had an ultrasound, I had a mammogram. Mm -hmm. And they obviously, I mean, women, you know, ladies who've had, who've had mammograms, you know what it's like. It's mm -hmm. not the most pleasant experience. No, it's horrible. 